abortions after 15 weeks in the state, the governor says, who signed the bill says it's part of his goal to make the state the safest in the nation for unborn children. Opponents say the law is unconstitutional. We'll probably be sued here in about half hour. <laughs> Actually, it took about one hour after Governor Bryant signed the new law that bans abortions after 15 weeks for opponents to file a lawsuit to stop it. Because it's, it's unconstitutional, it's, it's, it's unfair to women. Managers of Mississippi's only abortion clinic say the new law could leave women who want to end an unwanted pregnancy with few options. We have patients who have been calling, patients who, you know, who are worried, who have been saying different things that they're going to do. We get calls patients self-medicating and stuff because they're that desperate to have this done. The Center for Reproductive Rights filed a federal lawsuit for Jackson Women's Health Organization. It argues federal courts have ruled women have the right to an abortion before a fetus can live on its own outside the wound. They say the new law is unconstitutional and should be struck down immediately. All it does is delay the death of some children. Abortion opponents say the 15-week ban doesn't go far enough. Because you're still mur murdering millions of children every year, so I'm not happy at all. The law has two exceptions. If a fetus has health problems and couldn't live outside the wound at full term, or if the mom's health is threatened, there are no exemptions for rape and incest. It's just another stab at women to show them that, that men want to control what they do. That, that, that's, that makes no sense. You would like to see the governor sign a bill that forces this clinic to close permanently? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Late tonight, U.S. District Judge Carlton Reeves said a Tuesday morning hearing in the case, lawyers for the abortion clinic want a temporary restraining order to block the law. Live in the studio, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.